Well, thanks, Luke, and uh, thanks for having me on the show today to discuss what the Office of Emergency Communications is doing to help public safety communicate during those disasters. And uh, just to give you a little background, when, when a uh, disaster does happen, there is multiple public safety agencies that come together uh, to respond to that incident. And so it is critical that they come with common practices, techniques, and procedures. And so they follow FEMA's National Incident Management System, and we're responsible for helping train public safety officials in the communications unit in the Incident Command System, which supports uh, the uh, response and recovery efforts. And with that, we've trained over uh, 10,000 communications leaders and technicians across the country to ensure whenever a major incident does occur, like this upcoming uh, Fourth of July fireworks, that uh, there will be interoperability between all the responders and, and be able to, uh, to work with that. And so in the past, Public safety has primi primi primarily relied on land mobile radio systems, and with that, we've been uh, teaching them how to uh, develop a communications plan so all the responders would be able to interoperate. But as they start moving into uh, more uh, cellular commercial broadband capabilities, we're now uh, moving the courses to cover both an land mobile radio and a cellular long-term evolution LTE fourth generation uh, uh, capability so that we have interoperability in a, in a uh, integrated environment. Right. 